Oh, I like this lesson. It's very, very quick. So um, how do we get output from all of this? Uh, we walked through these steps before. Get our, get everything initialized, get to the point where we have our layout, uh, our layout object. So this load layout, uh, generate the page via layout XML. When we, when, we, when we call that render layout, we take all of these, all these XML instructions, we generate blocks, uh, we execute the output block, which is, um, as we just saw in page XML, is configured uh, is the page HTML block class using some certain template. Um, executing the output block, well, through those get child HTML calls. Basically, what we do is we recursively just get the content for a block, include another class, get its template render that view, there's something in there, we keep drilling on down. Um, and this happens just recursively through all these child blocks. We just keep building out our response, just a string. And attach it to the response object and flush it to the browser. So how does that happen? Well, because we're you know, using mage core controller very in front. We're using our front controller. So here we're getting our request object. We remember dispatch from earlier today. Here we're getting our request object. Here we're getting our response object um, and send response. So basically, uh, it's assumed that in there we've matched a controller somewhere, and that controller has uh, done something to the response object. And it's going to be, uh, and here is just where we simply send that response to the browser. And that's just a quick view at the internals. So uh, what's happened between here is, um, is that, you know, like we did in our previous examples, we said, you know, this get response, set body, that's all that's happening in, inside Magento. So uh, this load layout, render layout, effectively does the same thing. Builds a string out of all that big nest of blocks uh, just gathers all that output, sets, sets that, that becomes, uh, that's literally sent to set body on the response object. And the front controller just as part of its execution, so it's sort of bookending this whole thing, sends it to the browser. Okay. Quick note. In system configuration developer, there's JavaScript and CSS settings. You can... Um, Reduce all of your files if you've included them, as we were, as we saw with the add JSS or JSJS, and add CSS calls. Uh, you can actually, if you change this configuration setting, um, you will cause Magento to take all of those files and combine them, not compress them, but just combine them into one request. So, limit your number of HTTP requests. You're going to speed up your site a bit. That's actually something, though, that when you, you should test this before you enable it. And when you're developing, uh, if you're including JS or CSS, make sure, that, make sure that you test it in your development environment with these settings enabled if they're enabled in production. Very important. And that is that lesson. That is that section.